guess what? Sitting here today with Bella Caroli, world famous gymnastics coach. I didn't even realize this. Produced 28 Olympians. Welcome to Frisco News. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I don't know about you guys out there. When I think of Bella Caroli, I remember that one moment that he picked up a young gymnast and carried her off the stage. Carrie Strong. Do you remember that moment? Yeah, that's an unforgettable moment. You know, those are the moments that really stick in for the rest of your life. Because that was not just a uh, precious moment of athletic fight, but that was a very courageous, very outstanding performance for the young lady, anchoring the gold for not just for herself, but for the whole team. So you're in town because um, in March, the AT&T American Gymnastics Cup is going to be here in Jacksonville. Tell us a little bit about that. The AT&T Gymnastic Cup, we call the American Cup. And as uh, this time is, is, is title sponsor is AT&T, which we are very, very pleased and very proud of that. Uh, this is the most prestigious gymnastic competition of the world on that wow. particular time of the year. So, March 5th, the best gymnasts in the world are going to walk in into that arena. They're going to perform and going to have a beautiful athletic fight to become the AT&T American Cup champion. Traditionally, every winner of the American Cup became all world or Olympic champion the year after. What do you look for? What do you see in a student or, or a com competitor that you say, that's going to be one that's going to make it? Do you see what you can see on the very first look is the, the uh, physique and the physical uh, activity and the physical motoric uh, performance. We call that talent, that general talent. But what you don't know as a coach at that time when you start to work with this young individual, what is up here, the mind, the heart, the desire, that consistent uh, strive toward excellence, this is coming out slowly with the time. So, when I would say how, how you, you choose a, a great gymnast, you got to always consider 50 physical and 50 mental. So we have a Facebook page, um, First Coast News Facebook page, fans, and I put a little question out there this morning that we were going to be interviewing you, and within minutes, I had a bunch of questions. <laughs> so we're just going to pick a few of them, right. some of the ones that I think were good. Um, okay, so this is for Mich from Michelle Yawn, which is, what is your advice to young girls? My daughter's eight. She wants so much to be a college gymnast. What's your advice? Well, she has a long way to go. She's eight right now. The first, uh, my recommendation to go toward the first gymnasium and sign up for the regular gymnastic classes. And if the gymnastic class is really suits her, and she really likes it, what, what she's doing, then she obviously going to be promoted into the next step, which is going to be a pre-team program. Then slowly she's going to get to the point that to become a competitive gymnast. Now this is the requirement in order to get to the college. The college, the college kids are selected, and they recruited based on their performance. So in order to get to, get to your dream, you got to work long years and to become a very good competitive gymnast. That's good advice, don't you think, Michelle? A lot of questions about when to start, when to start their kids, mostly girls. I know you also want boys as gymnasts. Whenever we think of gymnasts, I, I always think of little girls, but boys too. Um, what's, the, what's the right age to start? Nowadays, the little girls and boys are going as young as two and a half, three years old toward the gymnasium. And it's amazing, I know, it's amazing. It's but incredible. there are very, very lovely uh, programs are tailored for that particular age. Okay, so, and on the other spectrum, we have Tommy Hooks, who wants to know any advice for older people who took gymnastics when they were young, how to stay with it when you're older to stay in shape? It's very hard. I would not even recommend to do it because the joints are getting weaker. The muscle system is getting bigger with the age, but a main maintenance type of, of light uh, practice with, with very light acrobatics involved. How do you stay in shape? You look fantastic. Um, you look great. Thank you. Well, uh, keeping in shape, I believe, is just part of your, of your uh, uh, everyday uh, values, uh, way of life. I'm not doing anything special. No kidding. No anything. secrets. There's no no you secrets. Can't tell us anything? No Come special. On. I'm just living the same type of life, but I'm very active from the All morning right. till the evening. Well, then I don't know if this will work then, because Jennifer Richardson wants to know. This is be the last question. Right. This is the toughest one. Mm -hmm. Can you do a back handspring? If so, show us. 
Well, I'm almost 70 years. <laughs> we found out. I'm 70. And I, even though I still have a very strong insurance uh, policy, I still will not do on for her pleasure and will not challenge myself. Yeah. Sorry, Jennifer. Uh, ain't going to happen here. Sorry. <laughs> well, we are so honored to have Bella Caroli here, not only today, but in Jacksonville. So um, check it out. We will be giving you the information. We want you to come. Whether you do gymnastics or not, you got to come and see these kids perform because it's going to be fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank Great you. to have you Thank here. You. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it.